So my global thought about developers and coders is to make sure that you hire, you take a long time to hire, you hire them slow. You make sure that you ask them the right questions as you, can, as you just saw. You go through a certain process and when things get bad, if they do get bad, you make sure that you fire fast and you get rid of them. You kind of get that toxic waste out and move on to the next thing. I have specific milestones that I want to create and I want to lay out and say, okay, if this app takes one month, I want to at least see it once every week. I want to go ahead and look at it. Let's set milestones. Let's set deadlines because what happened in the beginning as well is that I would let apps just run on. Like time and time would go, a couple of weeks would go by and I'm like, hey, I'm, I haven't got my app back yet. And there was no deadline. So they'd say, oh, we're, we're working on it. Um, um, it's also important too, before you actually jump um, with both feet in, that you test the developer out, right? Even though you're ready to roll with him, make sure you say, okay, you're hired, but just because I've been burned a lot before, I wanna take an extra security step. And that's just two, two simple things. You make them, you test them on the, the programming, the functionality of the app. It's just a Hello World app. It's very, very simple. And that, all that does is really show you that they can, they can do basic programming. And it shows you that they can communicate with you and you can actually you know, see how they work which is important. And then you also want to see the design side, right? It's important to get, again, both of these people either together under one roof or hopefully they can do both of them together. But make sure that they do like a small icon. You know, that might cost a couple hundred bucks. It might, um, you know, come out not the way you wanted it, but at least you can test them on how well they design. And if they don't do well, if you don't like the relationship, at least you can move on before you sunk all this money into the process. So that's important. Uh, the other thing that I also learned is that right from the beginning, I tell them, hey, I know I met you through this third party site, or I know I met you through this person. I'm very different. I want a long term relationship. That's how I work. And I don't want to do, you know, wham, bam, thank you, man, and move on. I'm looking to create an empire here. I want to find highly skilled, dedicated people that I can count on for my business. And when I said that, it's amazing how it switched. The whole relationship switched. They didn't feel anymore like they were getting taken advantage of or that they were a worker. They felt like they were part of a team. And that's something that um, I like to build, you know, my whole infrastructure is make sure that I have a, a team that's willing to, to play for me and vice versa. All right. I hope you love that little video. Um, for more incredible information, we put together an eight-day app business plan. This is an eight-day plan for you to maximize your results in the app business. Click down below. You'll see it right down there. Um, click on that link below and get your free eight-day app business plan now.